Welcome. In this video, you are going to learn a short summary of the essay, The Subject of Sex, Gender, Desire, written by Judith Butler. If you watch the video till the end, you will get a clear-cut understanding about the concept discussed by Judith Butler with examples. Before that, I really want to thank you for being here with me today, and I really appreciate your enthusiasm of learning literature. Before I start, this essay is a lengthy one, 34 pages, dense, and it's a real challenge to shorten that into a 15 minutes video. So I request you to read the essay in original for better understanding, but this will give you a very good idea. So this class is divided into five units. In the first part, we will discuss about the author. In the second part, we will have an introduction to the work when it was published and all. Third part, we'll discuss about her other important works, Judith Butler's. Then we'll move on to a brief summary. What is the central argument of the essay? And uh, finally, we will have a summary. The essay is divided into six parts under six subheadings. We will go and learn it. Are you ready? So Judith Pamela Butler was born in 1956, and she's an American philosopher and gender theorist. She's still alive at the moment of recording this video. And if you look at the origin, which is very important for us, she comes from a Hungarian Jewish and Russian Jewish parents. So it's a mixture of Hungarian Jewish and Russian Jewish parents. And most of her grandparents and relatives have, are the victims of uh, the bloody Holocaust. So she comes from that trauma background and uh, she's known for her political philosophy, ethics, and the field of third wave feminism queer theory and literary theory. So she's regarded as one of America's leading queer theorists. And what is she remembered for? What is she remembered for? Uh, actually, she's remembered for her major influence on feminist and queer scholarships. And she's also a champion of uh, uh, lesbian and gay rights movements. And she has also spoken about a lot of political contemporary issues, including criticism of Israeli uh, politics and all. So ultimately, she is what you may call one of uh, our people. That is, uh, she lives among the people and speaks for the people. And now we go on to the introduction to the work. And this essay, The Subject of Gender, Sex and Desire, was published in 1990 in the as an introduction uh, to the book, which is known as Gender Trouble, Feminism and Subversion of Identity. This book is regarded as a landmark in the history of queer studies. Uh, this is a, what you call a seminal document, that is what I want to say. Now we move on to her other works. They are very important. As I told you, she's a very, uh, what you may call, important writer. Imitation and Gender Insubordination, published in 1991. Bodies That Matter, 1993. Excitable Speech in 1997. Precarious Life in 2004. Undoing Gender, again in 2004. Giving an Account of Oneself, 2005. Notes Towards a Performative Theory of Assembly in 2015. And The Force of Nonviolence in 2020. So she's very active and she speaks predominantly based on the issue of cure. So ultimately, this essay is also forms of one of the early essays in which she speaks about the queer study. Now we go on to brief summary. Before we go into the brief summary, I want you to say the central argument of the essay in just one sentence. Actually, she says that determination of a person's gender should not be based on body. That is basically, we know that if a, if a boy is born, he turns into masculine. If a girl is born, the culture trains her to become feminine. But what about the other people? Those who are trapped in different bodies. So here she is asking us to look at in a larger context. And she says that body, that is sex, should not be the determiner of gender. This is the central argument for which she has written a lengthy essay. Okay, so if you look at that, she is a um, what you may call a thorough feminist. She has studied uh, uh, Simon Debor, Julia Kristeva. Then she has also in, uh, she was influenced by the work of uh, Jacques Lacan, uh, Foucault, Derrida, and Louis Althusser. And uh, she speaks about how gender identity is socially produced through repetitions of ordinary daily activities. 
And uh, another thing is that she starts her essay by saying a mistake made by feminism. The problem with feminism is that it assumes uh, an identity of a woman. And this identity is always based on the Western notions of women. So ultimately what happens is that the Western feminism, either it appropriates or subjugates the third world woman. So she's saying that uh, a concept of woman has to be looked at from the larger context uh, based on uh, the society roles they play, the race, their, uh, their education, their economic status, their political status. So all together you have to look at instead of just narrowly defining it in a single term. That is a, one of the major criticism against feminism. As I told you, the key contribution is that uh, uh, nothing is not natural, even sexuality. So uh, she focuses on to look at sexuality, not from the body, but from the larger context. And finally, as I, uh, as I told you, she wants to break sex and gender uh, from cultural norms and even from the language norms. And she speaks more about uh, gender as a performative thing and uh, from the foundations of queer theory. So ultimately, what you learn so far is that uh, a person's gender is not something culturally determined or biologically determined, but rather it should be determined beyond uh, sex of a person, what he feels within or she feels within or how they perform in what gender.